So Commodity Monitor is a trading logistics and research company. It was formed in 2017 to basically provide solutions along the commodity value chain. So we are looking at both the soft commodities and hard commodities. Soft commodity, we are looking at grains, right? Just say the wheat, the corn, and then we are looking at the cocoa, the trading of you know these products, including its byproducts or a processed form. And then we are looking at the hard commodities. The hard commodities we are looking at mining, oil and gas, and even energy. So that's basically the work commodity monitor is doing. And what we are doing is that we want to provide both an engineering solution and a sustainable solution. If it's in mining, for example, we are providing a solution where miners can have absolute you know, um, um, uh, solution uh, to the processing of gold so that they get the best profit that they, they need. So that's in short what Commodity Monitor is about. And it was formed out of a passion of two people uh, who were living in Europe. So actually we schooled both in Europe and my uh, background actually is that I schooled in Geneva, Switzerland. And then Switzerland is basically like the hub of commodities. So the inspiration to form Commodity Monitor came from there. That, I mean, there are benefits to trading along the commodity chain. And that's what Commodity Monitor was set up to do. So I'm a co-founder and then the CEO of Commodity Monitor. And as part of the services, what we do is that we look at connecting producers and consumers. So if it's about corn or maize, and there are shortage of, let's say, maize consumption here in Ghana, we look at connecting to producers, let's say, in Eastern Europe, uh, it can be Romania or it can be, you know, Lithuania or even Ukraine and Russia. And then we bring these products into the Ghanaian market or even the African market. And then the other way around, you know, especially Ghana here, we are able to get some commodity for soya bean, you know, or any other cereal that is much more needed in Europe or other continents. We try to gather them and then we ship to these uh, uh, consumers outside. So basically it's about trading and trading any type of commodity. And then we are fixed in between to make sure that we connect the producer and the consumer. Looking at agriculture, which is a soft commodity, we are looking at mining. So in mining, mostly our focus has been on small scale for now, but we do also, we are engaging with you know, some big mining companies. And then we have oil and gas. In oil and gas also is about dealing with the supply of oil, but not the production side. So basically the supply, the distribution of oil. And then we are looking at the energy resources. So basically if it has to do with renewable, you know, the, the whole currency of renewable, which is gaining traction today. So we're able to make sure that we're able to get, if it's about solar, because after some of the plants, we try to go green. So some of the machines that we have, some even use solar so that we can make sure that we combine consumption of energy to pro that, you know, protecting the environment. So green energy, you know, transition and all that. So basically that's the, the strand that we do. So it's about services around these commodities, to making sure that we fulfill the interest of a producer and then the interest of the consumer as a trader.